Hi everybody, uh, my name is David Green. I'm the director of the MSc in Geographical Information Systems at the University of Aberdeen and the Department of Geography and Environment and School of Geosciences. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the MSc in GIS program and hopefully you'll get some idea about what we cover in this very interesting and exciting uh, technological program. So the program itself covers a, a very wide range of, of the geospatial technologies um, from exploring geographical information system interfaces to uh, spatial databases to GIS software implementation uh, and the use of UAVs or drones for environmental data acquisition and remote sensing and new for the coming year a module on web GIS and online mapping. Um, UAVs themselves are a very big growth area at the moment particularly in data acquisition and particularly as the technology matures for environmental remote sensing, uh, monitoring, mapping and deriving 3D terrain and surface models. But most recently, uh, enhanced geograph geographical information systems and GPS technology, uh, particularly GPS technology on board uh, the newer uh, UAVs, means that these platforms are moving very rapidly towards professional survey platforms. So we focus a little bit on soft copy photogrammetry uh, to derive the three-dimensional uh, terrain models and surface models. Students graduating from uh, the program have gone into many walks of life over the years. Uh, we've been running now for 30 years as of 2017. And many of these students have gone off into all sorts of, of different areas uh, in uh, industry, government uh, and the uh, academic environment. And particularly, uh, many students have gone off to work for local authorities. Uh, they've worked in the offshore survey industry in hydrography. Some have uh, gone to work in environmental consultancies. And most recently, uh, a growing demand in the offshore survey industry means that quite a number of our students actually leave to go off uh, to do a uh, survey for the oil and gas industry. And uh, even today, some students now are uh, being very much more adventurous and in the last couple of years, uh, two of our students, one from Mexico and one from the UK, have gone off to set up their own drone and surveying companies. The programme itself tries to uh, strike a balance between theory and practice. And uh, this gives students a, a wide range of practical skills so that they can apply their knowledge and understanding gain for the programme and to do what I uh, call practising what they preach. Um, there is clearly a strong vocational element to the program and some of the key things that we actually focus on are, for example, cartography and digital mapping, uh, global positioning systems, uh, programming with Python and R. We also encourage field data acquisition and many of the students in one of the modules uh, learn to fly and use a drone and also to maintain it to a certain degree. We look at aerial sensors, uh, we uh, process the images of satellites with digital image processing software. We encourage students to look at the, the role of apps in uh, geospatial data collection. And increasingly with the UAV popularity, uh, there is a demand for learning how to use photogrammetric techniques in the form of soft copy pho photogrammetry that now is the basis of many of the image processing uh, programs which uh, turn your drone imagery into uh, a usable image, a mosaic uh, or a digital terrain model. Um, in addition to this, of course, we touch upon slightly more uh, basic things such as the history of the technologies. Uh, this is in essence really what I call the philosophy of the subject, gives you an idea of where it originated, how it's evolved and developed over time. And we also consider how GIS can actually be implemented in, in the workplace. So, for example, if you become the, the GIS person in an organization, you may be asked to set up the, the GIS uh, data collection and processing uh, hardware and software. And of course, we try to give you some insight into what that actually involves. So they're all very practical, usable skills uh, that you would acquire from the program. Uh, we also try to uh, develop students' communication and transferable skills 
particularly uh, helping students to explore uh, the scientific literature, to communicate their work uh, in a written form or a verbal form. And at the end of the MSc programme, students are given the opportunity to present their work in a workshop presentation session to an invited audience and the external examiner, which provides a, a good way for the student to uh, learn how to network and communicate with a, a wider audience who may be interested in the work that they've done uh, in their research dissertation. As part of the programme also, we have a number of short uh, site institutional visits. So, for example, we go to visit offshore survey companies such as Fugro in Aberdeen. We've been to Aberdeen Harbour Board to look at their uh, dredging program, which uses hydrographic software and geographical information systems. And we also visit the James Hutton Institute to look at their 3D uh, landscape visualization suite. And this gives students an opportunity to mix with other individuals who have perhaps uh, graduated from the program in the past, but also individuals who will expand their knowledge and understanding and maybe even uh, a good uh, part of their, their networking uh, in the future. And some of these trips obviously uh, permit students to also see some of the interesting technologies and so on that are used in industry. For example, uh, deep sea platforms with different sensors on them, uh, the use of, of multi-beam and side scan sonar for hydrographic surveying, surveying and so on. And one of the modules uh, involves uh, a farm mapping project. So we actually go a little bit north of Aberdeen, uh, where we have the opportunity to work with a farmer and the businessman to look at how GIS and the uh, associated geospatial technologies such as, as drones uh, and remote sensing can actually be used to provide uh, a business uh, solution for a farmer who wants to perhaps map and monitor his assets and to uh, develop, for example, accessible information via uh, a web-based uh, GIS platform. We also invite numerous speakers into the program. Uh, every year we have a different set of speakers who talk about their different research interests, particularly focusing on the methodologies that they use to uh, undertake their GIS and geospatial related work. And this can include people who have undertaken work in archaeology, uh, in disability mapping, uh, and also people from the offshore survey industry. And each one of these speakers provides the students with, again, another opportunity to network, uh, to perhaps identify people with projects for their summer dissertation, uh, and even to get internships and work experience uh, during the summer months uh, when they're completing their, their final stage of the uh, MSc and GIS program, which will be the dissertation. The programme also has uh, an external industrial advisory board, so we have a, a wide range of different people who advise on the, the programme. Uh, the primary role of this board is to uh, try to match what we teach in university to the real world outside so that we're preparing students who graduate from the program with some of the key skills that uh, an employer would expect that student to have when they uh, take their knowledge and understanding of, of the geospatial technologies and then apply them in whatever work environment uh, they're uh, then employed in. Uh, we also take the opportunity to go to the annual uh, ESRI uh, Scotland conference in Perth and this again is an opportunity for students to get some idea about what the new areas of, of geospatial technologies uh, are being developed to again network with individuals to meet other students and it provides a good opportunity very early on in the program for people to begin to make contacts for uh, their dissertation and even uh, future job opportunities. Um, students are encouraged to pursue projects in whatever uh, area of interest they have, particularly, uh, I think, in many cases uh, that relates to their prior background, although, of course, they can uh, go off in different directions if they so desire. Um, we try to tailor as many of these dissertations to the uh, potential employment opportunities at the end of the program so that students actually will leave the program and even before they leave they may uh, have a job or at least they'll be employed very rapidly afterwards and we have a very good uh, long-term employment uh, 
uh, program uh, as a result of this. Um, and we try to encourage students to use one or more of the geospatial technologies in their, their dissertation project. Um, we've had numerous different uh, projects that have come out of the MSc and GIS program, very wide ranging because the backgrounds of people coming into the program are very wide ranging indeed. Uh, so, for example, we've had people look at onshore and offshore wind, site, wind farm siting and renewable energies. We've had people mapping disability for wheelchair access. We've had people working with Aberdeen uh, City Council looking at green space mapping. Uh, we've done quite a number of projects on coastal monitoring and mapping and habitat mapping. We've also had historical studies, for example, of population migration uh, and uh, toll road mapping. Uh, and we've also focused quite a bit in the past few years on the potential of the geospatial technologies for precision agriculture and precision viticulture. Some of the more interesting uh, projects that have come out of the program have been uh, where students have, have looked at uh, using GIS within uh, a building, so to complete uh, a GIS database for managing uh, the in-store uh, products uh, in the uh, store and we've also done some uh, studies with uh, harbour surveying and harbour survey um, but at the end of the day um, what you will find is the geospatial technologies and this we would say includes remote sensing geographical information systems digital mapping and cartography UAVs, soft copy photogrammetry apps and web GIS are all very generic technologies that can be used either on their own or together for a very wide range of applications. So this is a very exciting area to get involved in. Uh, the program has been running, as I mentioned earlier, for 30 years. We have a very strong, successful employment uh, and indeed, the MSc and GIS program uh, remains perhaps one of our most successful programs in terms of continuing to uh, support uh, a number of students each year in, in forwarding uh, their careers into a pathway which uh, adds considerable skills uh, and knowledge and understanding, which uh, provides a, a very good way to find employment at the end of the program. So thank you very much indeed for listening.